Joe here. I'm with Kick at 55 Fitness. Today we have another 23 minute boot camp for you. Today's focus is going to be upper body today, all right? You're going to need a set of dumbbells and a barbell. If you don't have a barbell, don't worry, we can use dumbbells, all right? We can modify. Uh, remember to like us on YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the push notifications so you know when we post new workouts. Today's going to be awesome. All right, folks, you guys ready for the warm-up? It's the same set of exercises as before. We're just tweaking the order a little bit, all right? 30 seconds each. We're gonna start with power jacks, all right? So power jacks is a little bit different than a jumping jack. A little more fun, if you ask me. A little intenser, too. You can look that word up after the workout. All right, so just going down with the wide arms, up with the close arms. A few more seconds of these. We're gonna go into the hamstring kicks after this. All right. Coming to a close here in three, two, one. Very good. All right, so stretching a little bit. Alternating hamstring kicks, all right? Boom. About 30 seconds here. Remember, I like to do this back step and a forward step. And again, just keeping a good rhythm, good pace, because it's part of the warm-up. Again, this is dynamic stretching, so you're getting the body primed, ready to start killing it. Got a good upper body workout for you. Three, two, one, time, good. So we're gonna go into 30 second centipedes where you go down, crawl out, and then you push back up and stand up. Today, here's the catch. We're gonna go with the second set order reversal, so, we're going to do these twice because we're going to start round two of the warm-up with these. So essentially, we're going for a whole minute here. I'll tell you when the first 30 seconds are up. Go down, high plank position. Come back up. One more. Three, two, one. And round two, centipedes kick it off, making our way back to the power chats. All right? Go. Good for mobility, stretching out the back and the hamstrings, activating the arm muscles because you're having to push yourself up. Let's go with one more here, back down, and up, and then right into your hamstring kicks. Bam! There we go. About 30 seconds. Dynamic stretching, always good to do before you do really any workout. So again, we'll start off with our strength training today. We're gonna to need that barbell for the first two exercises, and then dumbbells for the last two, for the strength segment. Last one, and then 30 second power jabs, down wide, up close. All right, and that will be your three minute warm up. So after these, about 10 more seconds, we'll take a few seconds, regroup, get our equipment going, and then we're going to dive right into the strength today. Let's sign up for that. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, so like I said, uh, I'm going to use a barbell. This is an upright row, okay? Uh, you can use your dumbbells for these as well. It's the same thing. Here, I'll show you real quick. Dumbbell, upright row. Okay, same thing. So use dumbbells if you need to. All right, folks, so 30 seconds. Barbell upright row. One side note here of the upright row. Try to grab outside shoulder width. See how I'm outside my shoulder width here? Like this would be shoulder width. Go outside. All right, so 30 seconds in three, two, one. Up and down, okay? Some of these are, you know, a little bit on the basic side today. That's good, if you do good form, and you keep your technique levels up, you'll feel it, okay? So during the upright row, kind of 
want to just focus on your elbows going up, all right? You don't want the bar to come up with the elbows down. That's not good form. Elbows up is good form, okay? A few more seconds, wrapping it up. We're going to use this bar for the barbell curl biceps. Again, this is an upper body strength segment. Time, good. So, underhand grip now. Now the bicep curl grip is about shoulder width, okay? So not outside shoulder width, but shoulder width. Straight up and down, 30 seconds and go. All right? So we're looking to maintain that good posture. Okay, let me give you a side view here. I'll show you what not to do. Okay, not good. Okay, so you wanna maintain your composure and your stability as you go up and down. Tighten up your stomach muscles, and then that should be able to kind of stabilize your hips and use your glutes too. A couple more, three, two, one. Alrighty then, now let's go into the dumbbells. This is a lying tricep extension. I hope that stays. So grab your dumbbells. They're gonna lie down, hold the dumbbell straight up, and again, it's just a hinge at the elbow joint. All right, let me look at the time here when we're starting. 30 seconds, tricep extension, okay? So really, your elbows really shouldn't move at all, okay? If you see your elbows moving back and forth while you're doing these, again, that's kind of uh, not good form, all right? So whether maybe you're going too heavy or too fast, you just gotta, you know, for lack of better terms, check yourself. A couple more seconds here. We're gonna go right into the chest fly, so we do get to lie down for pretty much a whole minute. Last three, two, one. All right, so dumbbells are right here to start. We're gonna go down and up. Chest flies, 30 seconds. Okay, a little bit different than the chest press. A little more uh, stretchy, if you will, on these, all right? So just be careful of the shoulders and your muscle fibers, just in case you're not properly uh, stretched out yet. You know, sometimes you have to build that range of motion and then utilize what you got as far as your range of motion. But again, elbows are slightly bent as you go down to the sides and then back up, maybe two more. Back down, back up, down and up. Very good. So that completes your first round. Nice job. So, if you stand up, shake it off a second, grab your barbell, we can get into a set two. Remember the barbell upright, outside shoulder width, with your elbows going up 30 seconds and go straight up and down. Okay? Good. So a nice little mix of the upper body muscles here, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and your pecs. Got a funny name for pecs too, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say it yet. <laughs> Couple more, 10 seconds. That's a firm no. Keep going. Five seconds. Two more reps. Three, two, one, all right. You should feel those in the traps and the shoulders. Oh, not going anywhere. Bicep curl, underhand grip, shoulder width, straight up and down. 30 seconds and go. Okay, I always say you can tell a lot about somebody by the way they do a bicep curl, okay? Okay, you see a lot of weird things, especially for, you know, first timers. It's a great, uh, you know, upper body assessment tool just to see how well you can stabilize your body during a movement. Five seconds. I'm feeling it. I don't have too heavy of a bar, but you know, again, technique does a lot. Time. Back down. Stay for the triceps. So grab your dumbbells, hold them up to start, hinge at the elbow, 30 seconds, ready, set, go down and up. Okay? So again, we're just focusing pretty much solely on upper body today. Again, this is one of those exercises that you could do the leg raise with. Look at that. Okay, but we're just, uh, we're just focusing on the upper body, the foundation for now. A couple more seconds, about eight more seconds here. 
They call these uh, skull crushers, too, if you're familiar with that term. Three, two, one, hold them up, chest flies. Go, down, and up, down, and up. Very good, try not to bend the arms too much. Okay, there's gonna be like a natural bend in your elbows. That's about it, all right? Like I said, you wanna be able to expand those muscle fibers, all right? And also, we're gonna shake this off here in about 10 seconds, but we're coming up on our last round, order reversal. Three, two, one, okay. Take a deep breath, you can actually sit your dumbbells down if you want. Shake it off, sometimes that could be rough on the hands having to grip something for so long, but uh, you guys are doing great, and so am I, so this is fun. So we're gonna start with the chest flies, 30 seconds, all four exercises, the last run here. Ready, set, go. Down and up, okay? So the order reversal method implemented here, kind of getting these uh, chest flies done twice in a row, <sighs> really burns out the muscle group. There you go. So that's why if you do this workout again at some point, you know, you can always switch up the order. So another exercise would get the opportunity to go twice in a row. Couple more, couple more. Let's keep going. Upper body's feeling it. Couple more seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Chest, uh, sorry, tricep extensions. We're down and we're up. Here we go. 30 seconds. Last exercise with the dumbbells for today. Got a cardio circuit coming up. I think I have a couple new cardio intervals for you girls and guys to uh, tackle with me. Almost there now, come on. Keep working on that technique of your elbow stabilization. Look at that, hands and tries to hurt. It's a burner. Five seconds, here we go. Almost there. Three, two, one, bam, all right. Sometimes I like get fired up at that last rep. Okay, so uh, we're gonna Yes, stay on two feet for today on this barbell curl. Barbell curls all the way down, all the way up, right? Again, uh, you know, there's fancier things to do. If you want to look into standing on a single leg doing a barbell curl, that's one thing to do that might make it a little tougher without touching anything. Um, just standing on one leg, all right? And then you do a couple reps on the other leg. But uh, we're still in our 30 seconds here. Keep coming. A <sighs> couple more reps here. Let's get it done. It's like a beach workout. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good. Overhand grip. Outside shoulder width. Bam. Upright. Hit it. Last 30 seconds here. Remember, pretty much just focusing on the elbows coming up. Elbows, okay? That bar should pretty much stay underneath your chin, all right? Working on the shoulders, and this uh, has a little bit of a synergistic bicep in it too, all right? So you might kind of still feel your biceps, especially coming off of the barbell curl. <sighs> Come on, three seconds. Last rep, up and down, and done with the strength circuit. Very good. Take a quick break, towel off, grab a sit. Stand by for that cardio circuit coming up. All right, folks, that was great. So we just spent some time building the muscle. Now it's time for our cardio segment, so let's define the muscle, you know? A little different there. So three different exercises, 30 seconds each. We'll do three sets with that order reversal at the end. Uh, so a couple of new ones maybe for you here. I call these the close and wide jump squats. Check it out. So 30 seconds, we're gonna do a close grip squat and then a wide grip squat, right? So your feet are either close, or why, all right? So they're just kind of bouncing around between the two widths of your legs, your feet, I should say. Okay, so about 30 seconds here, and then we'll go to the, what I'm calling a modified burpee, okay? Because it's not like, uh, we're not gonna go all the way down, we're not gonna jump up, all right? So, geez. not easy, but easier. Three, two, one, time. We're gonna go side view, all right? So essentially, you're just gonna go down your hands, 
Kick the feet out, pull that in, and stand up, okay? So 30 seconds. And I always say, the more flexible you are, and the deeper you can pull your feet back in, so pull them in almost right to your hands, you're gonna be able to stand up a little bit easier, okay? So if you don't have that flexibility, you can work on it. Last one. Good, okay. Grab your jump ropes, just kidding. You need an invisible jump rope, right? So we're gonna do double under jump rope, okay? So like I said, go at your own pace. You wanna take time and effort into your hands, all right? We're literally making little small circles with our arms. And time. Shake it out. Okay, so we'll take it back from the top. Again, we'll do those jump ropes twice in a row on this set. Because it's the order reversal, all right? Take it back from the top. Close and wide. Jump squats. 30 set. Ready, set, go. Down. Remember, you want to incorporate your oxygen when you're really doing any form of cardio. Almost like a bottom half of a jumping jack. Five seconds. Go right into those modified burps. And time. We'll do the front view here. All right, so hands down, get the legs out, and up. There you go. Down, out, in, up. Yes. Good. I feel like I'm gonna kick the wall, so let me go side view. Couple more here. Deep breaths. Let's do one more. Very good. Whew. Grab your jump ropes. In three, two, one. Very good. One at a time. Double unders. Nice. It's feeling good. Burning up those thighs. One, two. One, two. One, two. Time. Shake that off. Take 10 seconds. Regroup. Last 90 seconds here, folks, okay? Start with the jump ropes. Get it done. Ready, set. Three, two, one. Double up. Again, mind those arms. It's like upper body cardio, too. How many upper body cardio exercises can you think of? Not too many. A couple more. Eight seconds. And last one. Very good. Let's go this way. Modified burpees in three, two, one. Hit it. Stand up. That's it. Come on, get ripped. Down, out, in, and up. Heart rate to go. Girls and guys are doing great. Stay with me. Couple seconds. Last one. Time. Very good. Last draw. This looks like 30 seconds. Close and wide. Jump squat. Ready. Set. Go. Close and wide. There we go. Keep bouncing around. Having fun. Burning up the thighs. Whew. Keep your hands out of the way. You can do whatever you want to pray. It's always fun keep them out of the way, you know? Whew. Whew. Come on. Grind 
it out. Three, two, one. There we go. All right, folks, nice job. Uh, leading up till now, we have our stomach workout. All right, so the abs, uh, four exercises, technically three different ones. Uh, we'll go through it though. 30 seconds, just two sets with the order reversal, so it's about four minutes here, okay? We're gonna start in plank position, all right? And then we won't see the plank until the very end. Plank position, side knee in, folks, okay? So we're right here in that low plank, and then we're gonna bring the, uh, the knees into the side, alternating, all right? So you can start going right now, 30 seconds, okay? Again, just maintaining your posture during the plank. This is the ideal situation, all right? So not like this. All right, and again, if you're, you have to take a break from the knee ins, then just hold the plank, that's fine. But uh, see if you can do at least one at a time on the knee ins. And again, you're kind of lifting that knee and bringing it into the side, all right? Wrapping it up, three, two, one, good. All right, so new exercise here. It's called the shin touch, or at least I call it the shin touch. So I'm gonna go on this side, get my left arm down, about perpendicular, and then my right arm is above my head, Gonna crunch up and try to just touch the shin. All right, so let's start there, 30 seconds. All right, so down and up, okay? Again, take it one at a time here. Try to just work on your technique first before you implement any type of uh, speed, you know? You're gonna get the most gains out of the best technique, all right, regardless of the amount that you're pushing or the amount of reps that you're doing, better technique is always key. Three, two, one, all right, real cool. We just get to flip around now, okay? So go to the other side. Make sure that right arm now is perpendicular to the body. That's your anchor arm, left arm above, and shin touch. Again, the arm that remains on the floor is a pretty important part of this as this is like your foundation or your anchor arm. So you gotta have a strong, in this case, right arm. Exhale. Okay. Last couple here. We'll go one more. Shin touch. Perfect. Now we get to the alpha sit up, all right? So this is just a fancy name. Whew, that feels good. For a full range. Sit up, okay? All the way down, all the way up, 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Okay. Again, go at your own pace. You can keep that slight bend in the knees. All right. Try to, almost like you're trying to reach your toes. If you grab your shins, that's fine too, or tap your shins rather. But again, this is our last exercise of this segment. And with the order reversal being implemented once again for the final time today, we're going to do this twice. Last one, time, good. So that's your two minutes. Uh, so we'll go through it all over again, all right? And uh, we're going to start with that setup, so you can just stay put. And we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, alpha setup part two. Here we go. And then again, we'll make our way back to those plank side knees, all right? And then you will officially have a sit back. Whew. Oh yeah, a couple more. Whew. Engage your core. This one, you know, isn't the most devastating stomach exercise, but it does take a lot of energy and strength to do a proper sit up like this, so, you know, kind of translate to strength on other exercises too. Last one. Bang. Okay. So back to that shin touch side that we just got done doing. All right. So I believe your right arm is going to be the anchor arm. Left arm above the head. In three, two, one, and go. Right there. Shin touch. Okay. So you're sticking that arm nice and long above the head. All right. Kind of like a side crunch here. Ever have clients do this? I tell them we're carving out the core. Okay, just kind of hitting it at different angles. And uh, you know, again, I feel like we're doing a pretty good job 
with the technique. So it's burning pretty good. Got five seconds. Take a deep breath, last good one. Here we go. Bam, okay, good. Flip it around. Very good. So we're on track here. Left arm down, right arm up, shin touch, go. Whew. There you go. Every couple seconds, you know, you might just kind of take a second, reset your breathing, reset your posture, and then execute each repetition with the maximal integrity. All right? Then your body really responds. Whew. 10 more seconds here. Up and down. Up and down. Two more reps. Here we go. Up and down. Oh, it's burning. Bam, last one. Very good. So let's go this way for the plank. Last one. 30 seconds. Plank side knee in. Let's do it in four. Three, two, one. Go, side knee in. Again, just maintain your hip posture. Couple seconds, folks. Come on. I'm right there with you. It's burnt. All right. Try to finish strong here. Strong as you started. Come on. Three, two, one, and time. Very good. That is a good stomach workout, I must say. You did great. Uh, we're going to just take a few minutes to stretch now, right? Uh, let's go with the hips, all right? So you might feel the hips a little tight at this point. So we're going to go with our left knee down, right there, which means your right leg is out in front, okay? Don't break posture here. All you have to do is accept weight to your right knee, okay? You're going to squeeze your left glute muscle, and the left arm comes up in the air real straight, and then you laterally flex over to the side, okay? And you should feel that right in your left hip, okay? And then again, you're using your arm pretty much just reaching to the mats. So we're literally pulling apart the hip using our lat muscle, all right? Three, two, one, good. Take that same right leg and just drive the heel into the floor, push your hips back, and it's a hamstring stretch, so we'll just take maybe 10 seconds here. All right, so it's just an easy transition into the hamstring stretch. Three, two, one. Very good. And then just switch that up. I'm gonna grab a towel. But uh, yeah, so uh, right knee down, left leg out front, except weight to that left leg, and then your right arm comes up. Nice and straight up and down posture, and over to the side. Whew, feels good. Again, uh, squeeze your right glute. So your right thought muscle, and you should feel the stretch more in your right hip, because that's called reciprocal inhibition. When one muscle flexes, the opposite muscle lengthens. Okay, so we're using our glute, flexing our glute in order to stretch our hip. Okay, pretty cool, huh? All right, uh, left leg hamstring stretch. Dig the heel into the floor, drive the hips back, keep the back flat, hold for about 10 seconds. We're going to keep breathing during your stretching, all right? If you literally take a second, focus on your breathing, you can feel your muscles being stretched further pretty much each and every breath you take. Three, two, one, good. Uh, the last stretch I want to do with you guys is an upper body stretch, the, the neck stretch. I don't know if we got to this one yet, but uh, so we'll hit it right now. You can stay kneeling or stand up, doesn't matter. Uh, let's take our right arm, go behind the back which means we're gonna take our left ear and go to our left shoulder with it. I think I have those sides right. Uh, so yes, uh, you should be feeling this stretch right here in that right side neck and shoulder muscle complex. Again, biggest thing here is not to slouch when you do this, right? So you want that chest lifted up as tall as you can. And uh, again, this is where we hold a lot of our tension in the neck and the shoulder muscle region. So. Uh, it's a very important stretch. You do this every day, all right? Good, shake it off. Uh, left arm behind, and then your right ear to the right shoulder neck stretch, okay? Now again, there's a way to enhance this and take your arm, place it on top, and give it a little extra pull. I feel pretty tight as is. I feel like I don't need the arm, so you do you, you know? You can always do that. Uh, but uh, again, very important stretch. Try to knock it out twice a day. 
Very good. And that is all for today. You guys did great. I'm excited for next time. Thank you. All right, that was a great workout, everyone. Thank you for joining this boot camp that we had for you. Remember to like us on YouTube. Please subscribe to our channel and click the push notification so you know when we post the new workouts. Also, if you could, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. All right? We'll see you later. Thanks. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.